Jesus. That's right. See, I'm, hey, this, I'm going to tell you something. Praise the Lord. Some of them folks would have liked to have went out there to war knowing they'd already had the victory. Amen. Amen. When they went out there to, to fight World War I, I bet they I wish I bet they wish they'd known that they had the victory. That's right. I bet they wish they'd known in World War II that they had the victory already, but they didn't know that. That's but right. we are assured that Come on. we have yeah. the victory. Amen. Amen. God said so.
God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, yes. that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that through Him the world might be saved. Amen. I quote that verse almost every day to remind me of what God did for me. That's right. Amen. What God did for me. Amen. Ain't you glad that you know the Lord? You may be seated. Amen. If you'd like. Uh, Jacob, could you hand me? Let me be the daddy. And you do what I tell you. No, thank you, though. He's always second guessing me. He is smarter than me. I give him that, all right? Whistle just ain't got there yet. <laughs> But I love it. Yes. And where are you going? No, I thought we'd know. You got me, brother, this time. <laughs> well, I just, you just leave the night up there. I, I should you. lose my mind here somewhere. Let's turn with me one more time tonight. Hey, God might not have been done with us yet. Amen. You know why I changed my mind? I ain't using this thing. <laughs> we with a monster. Anybody want to buy a PA system? <laughs> <laughs> Got a good one. Squeals. Squeals on demand. It actually squeals when it ain't on demand. And this, I get tangled up in this wire. But come on, green thing, show up. <laughs> Hey, hey, there it is. Everything's going to be stubborn with me, Pastor Jerry. That's all right. Am I on? Hello? No. Hello? Hello yet? No. That's why I yell out. I'm about out of voice anyway. That's okay. Praise the Lord. I, oh, wait a minute. It's red. No wonder. Now it's green. Hello? Thank you, sister. I'm sorry. It was green for a second, and all of a sudden, just like the red lights, you know? At least that's what we tell the cops, ain't it? <laughs> it was great for me. <laughs> Chapter 7, verse 14, one more time, Second Chronicles. Yes, thank you, Lord. Hey, God may not be done. You know, we don't know, do we? He, he might be. You know, we, we got, this is the last night scheduled, but we never know. Hey, Amen. God speak to us before we leave here. We never know what might happen. Anytime Amen. you start trying to second guess God, you'll be like Jacob, getting in trouble. Amen. Whenever he tries to second guess me, he's smarter than I am. But I'm going to tell you right now, I ain't smarter than God. I ain't much smarter than anybody. You know, that's why I sing that, we sing that song, Raise Your Hand. That song's a true story right there. It says, as a young child sitting in the classroom, hey, I, I was one of them that would not raise my hand. Because I didn't, most of the time I didn't know the answer. And then second of all, I didn't want to speak. I wasn't going to speak in public, you know. I failed speech class, believe it or not. I could not get in front of people and talk. And when God called me to preach, I said, you must be insane, Lord. Now, I didn't tell him that because, you know, I know better. But anyhow, but I was thinking it, and that was just as bad because he knows our thoughts. <laughs> but I was like, God, really, me? Me? I can't talk in front of people. But here I am. And I am honored to be here tonight. I thank you so much. Thank you so much for the hospitality. Uh, thank you so much for the love and the friendship of your pastor. Uh, constant, uh, always encouragement. Uh, even on the... Stick on my neck. Keep thinking there's a bug on me or something other. All right. Tell I'm a professional, can't you? Uh oh. Alright, there we go. I'll be doing like this and be really in a mess. Alright. Keep them down. Alright. Keep them down. <laughs> That's funny right there. <laughs> to keep them down. The war's over, I hear you. But anyhow, honored and, and, and thankful for the. Uh, for the 
hospitality yes. and and, uh, and everything. I and, and enjoyed being here so much. Uh, I'm sure that we will not be strangers, and and uh, everyone will come down here sing every once in a while. We every third Saturday night we sing down there at Soap Creek Marina, which ain't too far from here. Or oh, and then every every once in a while on Friday or Saturday, whichever one we can can get away, we'll go down to. Brother Billy Norris's uh, auction place, and we sang some down there. For some people think we loud, though I think, but anyway, that's all right. But this one lady, she just did this the whole time I was there. I didn't think it was that loud. That's okay. Whenever they do that right there, I just turn it up. <laughs> the truth will set you free on it. <laughs> Chapter 7, verse 14, I'm going to get right in here so y'all. I know y'all ready to go home. And I'm, I'm not going to keep you long, I promise. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves, pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. We as the church know what we have to do Amen. in this battle, in this war. It's not just going to be a battle. There's going to be several battles within this war, I believe. The other, the ultimately, uh, ultimately the one ending in, 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 at Armageddon. But I believe that it's coming very fast. In fact, it's not just coming, it's here. Right. It's here, okay? There is no more, uh, if you read, I, I tell you what, real fast, let me see if I can find it real fast. In, in, in the book of Matthew, maybe somebody knows the exact where it's at. I think it's around 7 or 14, let's see, uh, where Jesus talks about when they ask him, uh, uh, how will they know? How will uh, what what will be a sign uh, of your return? Anybody got that one right? Matthew twenty four. Matthew twenty four. Twenty four. Thank you. Matthew twenty four. Turn with just real quick. Can you throw that up there, sister? Is, is that is, is that a possibility? Matthew 24, uh, verse, uh, we'll start with verse 1 and then. Who's the finder here? I think I lost my own set that down. But anyhow, I was right there on 17 and somehow I flipped into John. I know I didn't tear none up. Well, I did tear the page up. Anyhow, here we go, Matthew 24. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Go to verse 36. That'll be fine. Verse 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also be, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. And we know that we are, I'm telling you what, it, the days of Noah were wicked, terrible wicked. Yes. But today is the most, I was born in 1960. And I have never in my entire life seen it as wicked as it is today. Amen. Some of, you, some of you folks are, are a little older than I am. And I'm sure that you see it. Back in the 50s, I mean, the worst thing was going on was Fonzie with his hair combed slicked back, you know. That was it, you know. I know that, that there were some things going on. But today, it is the, we are in the, the world. It's not just our nation. It's the entire world is so perverse that it is just sickening. It's worse than the days of Noah, I believe. But I don't know. It wasn't in Noah's day, but I but I know that Jesus said, "But as the days of but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the son the coming of the Son of Man be." I'm glad tonight to know that if that that the ark of God, so to speak, we're not going, we're not talking about Noah's ark. We're talking about when Jesus comes by and swoops us up. Some people think that it's the old gospel ship. I don't know what it might be, I, but all I know is when Jesus comes and splits the eastern sky, the trumpet sound, and He calls the dead in Christ to rise, and then and then he, right after that He calls for us. We go, Amen. Amen. I know that I'm going. Amen. Amen. I have a doubt in my mind that I'm going. And I hope you're here tonight without a doubt that you're going. Yes. Because if there is come on. England right. of a doubt, come run to these altars. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Jesus, thank you, Lord.
Then shall two be in the field, and one shall be taken, and the other left. The two women shall be grinding at the mill, and one shall be taken, the other left. Watch therefore, for you know not what, I, what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good men of the house had known in what uh, watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would have would not have suffered his house to be broken up. That is a problem with the church today. They think that they are, that they got their eyes on, their spiritual eyes on. And even the world thinks that, hey, you, you know what? You cannot go uh, up there and and uh and make a uh, and, and make a, uh, a a touchdown or or a three pointer uh, or whatever and then and then throw up there to, you know, and then, and then go and be cussing in the next breath. You can't do that. Bitter water and sweet water does not come out the same fountain. Amen. That's right. It's a it's a mockery of God. Yes, my Lord. That didn't cost nothing extra either. Amen. Where did I go? Oh, here I is. I messed up. Didn't I? Oh, well, here we go. Therefore, be ye also ready for such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Right. Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to them uh, to give them meat in, in due season. season? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Yes. Verily, I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods, but, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord, the land is coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and drink, and with, with the drunken, the Lord of that servant shall, shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of. You hear that? There's folks out there that think they okay, mm -hmm. and they ain't looking for God right now. If they were looking for Jesus Christ to be coming at any moment, mm -hmm. and he could come before we got out this church. That's right. That's right. Hey, I know there's some of us that say, hey, you know what? Uh, uh, I've been hearing this all my life, and he ain't here yet. You know, my, my, my grandmother said that she heard it all her life, and then, but she went by the way of the grave. My, my father said that he'd heard it all his life, but he went by the way of the grave. I'm getting older, and I believe that I'll probably go by the way of the grave. Hey, you know what? You very well may not go by the way of the grave. Jesus could come before this night is over. He could come before this hour is over. Amen. But there's people that's not watching for him. How do I know? Because we've got empty seats in here tonight. Come on. And I guarantee you, in all of Abbeville County, there's not one church tonight that's absolutely full. Amen. Amen. Probably not even in Greenwood or Anderson County. Now some of now you know what that might have been a foolish a foolish statement right there because there may have there may be some that are absolutely full. I've seen some that are absolutely full, and I and I know exactly what they're preaching. Lies. Because people want to hear a lie. They love to hear a lie. If it makes them feel good, tell them a lie. Right. Tell me the truth. Yes. I want to go to heaven. That's right. Anyhow, uh, I didn't I lost track of where I was, but there's many signs of where of when Jesus is coming. Look them up. I I, I can't remember where. Where's that exactly? Man, I got that thing, but I guess I should have put it on there. But I, I wasn't, I wasn't going that route this morning, not tonight. <laughs> but the last one of those signs, he said, he said that there'd be famine in the land of plenty. He said that there would be pestilences. There was all kinds of signs. The last one, though, was that the gospel would be preached in every nation, and do. To satellite, due to the internet, the gospel has been preached in every nation. Yep. Christ is coming. Yes. Amen. Amen. Whether we want to hear it or not, whether we want to accept it or not, you know we long for it. It's kind of like it's kind of like that old song that that uh, I used to I used to hear saying. It goes, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. Yep. You know, everybody wants Jesus to come, but not tonight. Not tonight. There's something I want to watch on TV. Mm. <laughs> oh, me. Praise, that's right. You're right. Praise the truth. I got a ball game Monday. Don't let him come tonight. <laughs> you know, I'm going to watch the grandkids play ball Tuesday night. Don't let them come tonight. He's coming whether we want to or not. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now we've been talking about being on the battlefield and going to war.
And when I left basic training, I, I, I told you this morning that, that they quit me. Made sure that I had all that I needed to have. Yeah. Before I'd go into any kind of hot situations or whatever, they always made sure that I had whatever I needed to have. And I wouldn't leave you the same way, not going out there and not having what you need to have. So I told you about the whole armor of God. Amen. We need to put on the whole armor of God. You put on the whole armor of God, you don't have too much problems right there because it pretty well took care of all of it. Amen. The helmet of salvation and the breastplate of righteousness and our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace and and uh, and the and, we, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. I mean, yeah, the sword of spirit is the word of God, the shield of faith. We've got to make sure we have those things right. daily. Hey, you don't go. How many go out? Well, that's probably not. That's probably not going to get me nowhere. But I'll ask it anyway. How many people to, will run up? Because you see them run off the Walmart nowadays. They, they, if they could go in the underwear, they would. Yeah. You know, now they're in their pajamas. Yep, yep. <laughs> Ain't none of y'all guilty of going for Walmart in your pajamas, are you? <laughs> I hope not. My grandfather, he, he would dress up in a three-piece suit every day. He didn't have hardly two nickels to rub together, you know. But, but he was going to dress as fine as he could because he, he knew that he was representing himself. And, he, and so, and he felt that, hey, people are going to look and, and see me the way, you know, that has, that's gotten, uh, you know what, this is the last night, so I might as well let it on the line. I'm off tomorrow too, so. Praise the Lord. We can play golf or something. Hey, this lie, I believe it's just another trick of the devil trying to, you know, I know that it's not necessarily that, that God looks on the inside and He don't look on the outside. But you know what? I can't see your insides. That's probably good. I don't want to see them. You know? It's a nasty mess in there. You know, that's why I ain't no surgeon. Don't think I can handle that, you know? I look on the outside. And you can tell how people, what people think of themselves by how they dress. And I can look at all of y'all tonight. I'll make sure before I see somebody that don't go along with it. I can look at all of y'all tonight and see that you care about yourself. Amen. That you that you put on your clothes and, and you dress neatly. And, and you know, it ain't all about wearing a suit all the time. I don't believe me, I don't wear a suit all the time. Y'all probably 